I don't dig the Sopranos. I don't know what the Sopranos is all about. The TV show? I had watched a little bit of it. Let's say, since it was on, was it every Wednesday <laughs> at 8 or something? I peeked briefly and I felt annoyed and bored. Basically, people sitting at a table and talking. James Gandolfini, I am asked to look. What about? The tall man talked a little bit like James Gandolfini in the store. Yeah. I only heard like three words, maybe. I drew a conclusion eventually. Ben here is supposed to have died, right? But he was sensitive. He couldn't handle injustice around him. Now I'm getting super kisses. Because that is the story brought from within. Oh, there's a movie which he did. That was an amazing movie. <gasps> I forgot about that. So he and some bitch, he lives alone. He meets the girl. The girls come visit him now. I, I think they have dating or however you call that thing. Getting out. I don't know the name of the movie. And she starts criticizing him. What a jewel of a movie that is. Looking in her, into her, goes to the restroom, opens the cabinet underneath the sink and finds a big bunch of, I don't know, toothpaste, for example. And now starts questioning him or even his sanity. And he is so cute in that movie. So cute. Even, yeah, wow. And he said, yeah, I don't know. Well, that's just what it is. <laughs> I mean, you can clearly see the bitch depiction in that movie and you feel so sorry I mean I felt so hurting for this poor Gandolfini person Last night I had drunk that somebody loved me no hope no harm just another false love Last night I felt Red arms around me No hope, no harm Just another false alarm 